pinpoint asteroids in orbit and hurl y'all thousands of miles an hour towards it, towards it, towards it. With Flat Earth literally on life support, there isn't much else they can do except claim everything that clearly goes against what they believe is somehow explained with some unknown phenomena or fake. Which is all they can do to explain certain phenomena or observations or studies done by hundreds or even thousands of scientists. Or they can just ignore it, like they've been ignoring flights in the southern hemisphere, which they used to claim didn't exist. Unfortunately, Flat Earthers, not only do they exist, now they happen several times a week. Just listen to Flat Earth Data, Witsit, and Rakia, and others try desperately to come up with excuses. A lot There's of the direct never... flights have stops. They just list them as direct because the stop isn't to get um, like other passengers. So they call it a direct flight so they can charge more for the ticket, but it actually does land usually. You know that you're using a map that is a, a, apparently a projection of a globe flattened, right? So if you're going to pick a map that has flaws and then wonder why it doesn't match what you claim to assert. That's your, that's your, that's where you're wrong in your argument. I'll clear this up. Yeah. We have shown flights that say they're direct that have stops though. B ball. You need to check into that. No, no, there's, there's no stops on this flight. Okay. I'm not sure how you know that, but the, even when they list them as direct flights, they might have a stop. No, there is no stops on this flight. Also, the Gleason map, the way that the land masses are made, they're not correct sizes. Go to Buenos Aires and book a flight from Buenos Aires to Cape Town. I, I dare you to do that. I call any charter. I don't have to do that. Any then Witsit and some other guy named Citizen claim they tried to look up these flights but couldn't find any nonstop flights. He can book. So the guy who's claiming that he can book a, um, a one-stop flight from Sydney to Perth. Um, I'd actually like for you to uh, back that up and go find a plane ticket because uh, every plane ticket that I find actually stops in the Northern Hemisphere. I'll post the evidence right now, like the flight that I just looked up. There's no direct flight to Sydney and Perth. They all stop in the Northern Hemisphere. Ah, oh, damn it. You couldn't find it. Well, let me help you out real quick. Again, again, real quick, just so we're on the same page, I, I just I just want to make sure that Earth is life. Again, you're making the claim that this flight is, and I'm not saying it isn't. It very well may be a one-stop direct flight to Johannesburg to um, uh, wherever you had, was it Perth? Sydney. Johannesburg to Sydney, right. Okay, so that may be. I want you, what I want you to do is when you can, I want you to post a link to the ticket that I would buy to that flight. That's what you would need to prove to me. If you can post the, the link to the ticket to buy that flight, that's a one stop, no, no, or, yeah, no stop direct flight. Okay, that's what I would do. Yeah, because.
I just now looked it up. And when you click on that, you type in direct flights, you go to buy the tickets and you click on it. It's got one stop in all of them. So, so you guys want to walk it back now or you guys want to yeah. show where it doesn't have a stop? Yeah, I'm about to prove it. Here's a screenshot of all of the tickets from Sydney to um, Johannesburg. Wrong. Find the flight that doesn't have a stop. You guys, are, why would you guys just <laughs> stuff up and then tout victory? I just went and looked, up, looked it up because I'm honest. I just wanted to go look it up to try to go buy the ticket. And they all have one to two stops. So can you find one that doesn't, please? Yeah, that's correct. And they seemingly all stop in uh, Ab- was it Abu Dhabi, right? So all those flights from Sydney to Johannesburg, they're going to stop in the north in Abu Dhabi and the United Arab Emirates. So what, what's up with that? Yeah, where's the non-stop flights to Sydney? There's there's none. You won't find it. Sorry. Thanks for playing. I want to give a shout out to Left Lane, who pointed out to our friend Whitson that there was a flight in the Southern Hemisphere in progress from Auckland, New Zealand to Santiago, Chile during this very discussion. Listen to how Whitsitt wants to completely ignore this fact and obfuscate so as to try and dominate the conversation. Yeah, yeah there, there's a plane currently in flight, currently from Auckland to Santiago, Chile. That's an interesting flight path that's taken there. Yeah, make sure you skate right past everything that you had been claiming got getting refuted and we'll bring something else up that we'll have to go look into yeah, and refute Auckland, it for you again. Auckland, was it New Zealand to Santiago? Oh, yeah. So you are going to just skate past the packs. We refuted yeah, everything the, you've said so far. Yes. Yeah, yeah the are. plane is actually in the air fixing to land in, in Santiago. So you're going to keep doing it. You're just going to keep skating past the fact that we refuted everything well, you said. What about that flight, though? Okay, I mean, right, before that, we, that, right before we refute that one, would you? Right before we refute that one, you want to admit that everything else you brought up thus far, we refuted. How are you it. going to refute a flight that's in progress? Hey, but before we go, point out how you're probably being fallacious per usual. Would you like to admit that you've been refuted? I'm on not being you brought up. I, I'm not being fallacious. I'm looking at, at flight radar two, and it's Is showing it me this flight that went from Auckland. It's going from Auckland to Santiago. Is it nonstop? Yes, nonstop. One How shot. How did you know that? Because it shows the flight track and everything. It shows it went from Auckland and it's fixing to land in Santiago. You're not really answering the question. Maybe you can post the um, maybe you can post the flight path for everyone to analyze. Let me do, let me do, a, let me do a screenshot. To see if I can do that. Yeah, a screenshot. How about you drop the link? Yeah, yeah, that'd be nice. Because every single time a Glober says this, by the way, for any flight earth, never be scared of when Globers bring up flight paths because I've been in this for seven years now, and every single time they do it, they get debunked. And then they get really quiet and try to bring something else up every yeah. single time. Oh, believe me, Witsit. Anytime I see you in Geos, this is exactly what we're going to talk about. So I hope you're prepared for that. Back on the 5th of October, 2021, QFA-14 took off from Exiza, Argentina and landed in Darwin, Australia. This flight took 17 hours and 41 minutes. If you trace this flight path out on a Flight Earth map, you can see exactly why they've been ignoring it. This flight went pretty much unnoticed by the Flight Earth community, and understandably so. Since this flight, there have been other recently claimed non-existent flights. For instance, QFA-27, which flew on the 27th of March, 2020, from Sydney to Santiago, and QFA 63 and 64, which both currently fly back and forth from Johannesburg to Sydney several times a week. The few times that I have presented this evidence to flat earthers, the responses seem to be the same. Did you measure this distance? Did you personally take this flight? So you just blindly believe what the websites are telling you? To that, I say, math doesn't lie. And here's why. We have two airports separated by 6,863 miles. 
we have an aircraft, a Boeing 787-9 Dreamliner to be exact, traveling at an average flight speed of 482 knots or 554 miles per hour. And lastly, we have a posted flight duration of between 10 and 14 hours, depending on the direction of the flight, which pretty much all check out when you calculate the flight time by dividing the distance by the speed, give or take an hour or two. This difference in flight times is due to the jet streams in the upper atmosphere. Now, as I said before, when you put this flight path on a flat earth map that most flat earthers like to use, not all of them, but some of them, you can immediately see why this flight is a serious problem for them. It also shows why they won't claim any map or model. The distance between these two airports on a globe with a radius of 3,959 miles would be about 6,863 miles, which is the posted Great Circle Route distance, whereas on a flat earth, the distance will be roughly 12,548 miles. Of course, flat earthers will probably question how I got this number. Well, two thirds of this trip on a Gleason map would be over land. The rest is over water. And we know how big those land masses are. Unless that's another thing that we as a species have not figured out yet. That's just under double the amount. These discrepancies are so glaring. I don't understand why flat earthers can't see the problem with this. Oh, wait. <laughs> I do understand. If we look at one of QFA 63's flights, which took place on the 25th of May, 2022, the duration of this flight was 13 hours and 31 minutes. With a posted average speed of 554 miles per hour, there is absolutely no way this flight could have made this trip over a flat earth. Here's another reason why the math don't lie. First, it would have taken this flight 22 and a half hours to complete at its current speed. Second, if we are living on a flat earth and the distance between these two airports was actually 12,548 miles, the plane would have had to have been traveling roughly 1,000 miles per hour in order to complete this trip in under 13 hours. It all boils down to this. Either the speed of this airplane has to be wrong, the distance flown has to be wrong, or the flight time has to be wrong. And the FAA has been lying to everyone since it was founded in 1958. Or there's the other possibility, and they couldn't possibly be telling the truth, now could they? Once again, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you like this video, and check out the rest of my videos if you're interested. And as always, peace. Pinpoint asteroids in orbit, then hurl y'all thousands of miles an hour towards it, towards it, towards it.